Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your reading. This reading is from the 21st to the 27th of September 2020 and I'm using the transparent tarot in a different way again. I'm using it with an other deck, the Everyday Witch deck, as we are going into autumn uh, and we will be going towards Halloween and um, I've had so many beautiful reactions on the transparent tarot that I thought I would use it in combination with this. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. There's also an other uh, bit you have to do is give YouTube permission uh, so you need to s set your settings in a YouTube and also in your mobile device let it be a tablet telephone or a laptop I've made a video on that and you can view that video I've also made a video on Libra energy and what it could mean for you have a look at that video as well and we've got a n the new series started in English the witches series and um, this is with Georgina West and it's great fun it's how to keep yourself healthy mentally physically inward and outward um, and spiritually and we'll be doing meditations, we'll be doing all kinds of things, not just witchy, witchy things, but also um, we'll be discussing things in the media, um, uh, budget cooking, cooking uh, um, healthily, and we'll be discussing herbs and stones and candles and color and numerology, everything. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited because I love doing it and it's really, really great. So we are going into the energy of Libra, Scorpio, and uh, that will be around the 22nd, 23rd, according to the astrologers, um, but uh, it is still uh, renownedly known as in our calendar on the 21st. We are also um, going into autumn and it is the fall equinox in the calendar of the Pagan and the Wiccans, which is also a festivity because it's the harvest festival and that's called Mabon. So those are a few updates. So there's plenty for you to look at and next week the romance readings will be up and running as well. And of course there will be new things happening in the autumn, not only the Dutch series or the English series of The Witch, but I will be also going into making more videos when I've got the time uh, for meditation and doing that with the chakra and the tarot. Okay, um, and also uh, there will be free gifts, giveaways in the autumn if you want to have a, a go for a free giveaway then I suggest you keep an eye on the channel and I will also have a new page Charlie's Angel uh, crowd and that's where I will be doing the workshops and the interacting with my cyber angels that said let's get started with your reading this is the transparent tarot. If you haven't been here before and you haven't ever seen a transparent tarot, then have a look at this week's reading and the week before. Then you can see how it's built up and layered. And this is the third way of doing it differently. We start off with the Queen of Wands. Now this person is very dynamic and she knows what she wants. She's very passionate. Woo. Um, and when you go out with the Queen of Wands, she can be a dragon, literally, but because she knows what she wants and she, it's very difficult for them to compromise. The Queen of Wands is, represents Leo as Aries is the king, but don't um, underestimate them, that's the word I'm getting in, and don't uh, exclude Aries and um, Sagittarius. 
So you could be meeting one of these people, or you might be already hooked up with one of these person. This this person. Um, if you are not meeting up, uh, or if you're not hooked up with one of these people, then uh, you might take a page out of their book. You might be really determined as the Queen of Wands and go in, get into action and go for what you want. Boom! And cost what may, you are going for what you want. Boom! You're really determined. You're creative. You're passionate about this. Okay? Or it could be a new passion, like I said. This could be a person or a thing. could be a new hobby or a new job that you're passionate about and you're giving it your all. And she's got a magic wand here. <laughs> so something magical might happen. Wow. Okay. Now, in on Wednesday, we have the Four of Pentacles. You might be holding on to something really tightly. You might be holding on to um, a Queen of Wands tightly. Um, if you're not, if you're not going out with a Queen of Wands, you could be uh, uh, holding on to somebody that was the Queen of Wands from the past, because this is lying before this card. So I would say that that could be the past. Perhaps you're holding on to an old flame. And there is no flame anymore. It's just smoke. Let it go. Let the past go. You can't change the past. You can only change the present and the future. The Four of Pentacles also, the basic meaning of the Four of Pentacles means that you might be stingy or you might have been holding on to your money. Boom. Well, I see further than that. I also see in the traditional cards, the man has got a coin on his head, a coin in front of his heart chakra and his solar plex, and also underneath his feet. So no energy uh, can't travel through his chakras to clear him. So you are shut off. You've shut yourself literally off. So open your mind to new ideas so that you can bring them into the material world. That's what the Queen of Fire would do. Uh -huh. Open your heart. Enjoy life. Be passionate. Enjoy every single moment because life is too short and passes you by very quickly like air, like fire. Okay? If something is burned out, you weren't clear in your communications as to what your... Um, uh, borderlines were, right? Your borders. Um, how do you say that? Yes, borders. Like in the in the sea, you don't have any borders of countries. You have to let you know w with a fire sign, with anybody for that matter, what how far people can go and know their uh, borders as well, so that you can learn to compromise, so that you don't get burned and that the passion does not turn into love, a long-lasting relationship. Because you've just been too passionate. Perhaps it was based on a wrong foundation. Perhaps it was just based on pure lust and not love. And you're holding on for dear life to old memories. Let it go. Be open to new things in your mind, in your heart, in your soul and in your solar plex and come out don't isolate yourself look he's locked himself up okay he's got the window ajar but the door is closed so open your door go out there put yourself out there say I'm fit I'm happy I'm enjoying life I'm grateful to be alive get a different perspective like the hanged man Okay, he is hang he's hung himself up upside down to get a different perspective. This is the card of going within and finding out who you are and what you want. That is what the queen does. She knows what she wants, so take a page out of her book. Stop being sitting around or hanging around. That is what I'm hearing. You've had the time 
you, you can take the time out to do meditation, contemplation and evaluation. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you can't choose your path. Let it be spiritually or career-wise or in relationship-wise. Now, if you've got a different perspective and you know where you want to go and you're not hooked up, then take the step. Go out there, go to the gym, uh, go to the disco, go to and join a club and be the beacon. Set yourself open so that and be positive and shine so that people will notice you. And they notice the queen. Don't be forceful though. You last but not least, you have the star card. Your wish or your goal is coming true because you're getting out of this tree and out of this isolation. You're coming out of isolation and you're putting yourself out there. You're going to be noticed. The star is also a spotlight like the moon and like the sun. Okay, so be the beacon. But also in the spotlight you're being noticed. It could be by an Aquarius because the star represents Aquarius. That's another air sign. And they love to be beautiful. They love to shine. They love uh, they love twinkle. Uh, all that glitters. But just like a fire sign. Talk. Communicate. They love talking and communicating. And they love to get to know you. So give them a chance. Don't be closed off. Be careful though. Take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. Because you like I've said so many times to a couple of uh, Scorpios, it feels to me as if you crawl back into your shell if something doesn't go the way you want it to go or that you feel uh, less than somebody else. You're not less than anybody else so long you uh, are clear, okay? Transparent, that you're honest, especially to you, the other not only yourself don't make any dis don't have any dissolutions and don't um, be be transparent and don't create illusions that is what I'm trying to say be clear shine the light on things okay and that is what the star means okay so your wish might come true will come true or your goal or, um, uh, or you might be meeting an Air, uh, Aquarius so it could be an Aries or any other fire sign a Leo or a Sagittarius the Queen does represent Leo though okay I don't know why I said Aries okay so it's because of Aquarius that's most probably it Leo or Aquarius but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius now we're going on to the next layer. We have the Eight of Cups. You, perhaps you, left the, the Queen of uh, Wands in the past. Okay? You wanted it excitement. You wanted adventure. Because you've got the Eight of Cups now. Let's have a look. Perhaps you thro threw an old pair of shoes away before you got a new pair right well we've got the eight of cups and you wanted passion ah that's the excitement passion adventure excitement okay and it didn't work out for perhaps some of you because it went up in smoke because you were too fast you didn't have a backup system like I said if go for, if you go for a job because um, uh, once is also action means job or create creativeness uh, that means hobby perhaps you weren't creative or exciting enough for the Queen of Fire okay and that's why you left because you wanted adventure because it wasn't working uh, out according to you or to her 
and it went up in smoke. But you want, you wanted passion, you needed love, and you isolated yourself. Look big time. Perhaps you were closing yourself off in front of her, because you felt less. I don't know, I already said that before, and I hadn't even thought about it. That's why you closed yourself off. Now you have the Seven of Cups. Aha, uh -huh. you're dreaming. You're dreaming. You're wishing. You, you have goals. Now, which... Perhaps you took time out to see which uh, goals you wanted or wishes you wanted to come true first. Perhaps you took time out for that to get a different perspective and shut yourself away. Now, he's lying on by the door, against the door. So, um, in this way, uh, perhaps you might have felt that you had, you were overwhelmed and you had the, your back against the door or a wall, that you were cornered in some way because of the Queen of Wands. Perhaps she wanted to move off or have different ideas and she put you, you did, she didn't give you a cho choice. She put you in a position that you had your back against the door. She didn't, um, she didn't or he didn't um, discuss uh, the dreams that you had. They didn't leave the door open. That's how I see it, to discuss your dreams. Look, you are sitting here and it's in the back of you. And, and it's, <laughs> it's amazing how these cards work. It, it flabbergasts me every single time. <sighs> really. Now, we've got the Four of Wands. This is w a wedding. This you could be getting married to somebody else, an Aquarius, or a new Queen of Wands, but I wouldn't think so. I think it is an Aquarius, or it could be a, a water sign, because you've got the Ace of Cups there, that's uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Aquarius. This is lying more into the future. It could be with a fire sign because she was there, but I don't know. I've I've got a feeling that is behind you now. You've moved on. You've got a different perspective. So you might be going out with somebody else. And look. It is with his feet. His feet are com coming to one. That's two, right? His legs is two, and it looks like becoming one. You've got the lock there. You can unlock it and come together. And I think you are going to come together. Uh, look at these two people. Just their hands. The two, one, two of ones is just with the lock. So you are going to interlock with somebody. You might be getting married to somebody. Or you might be going to a wedding and see two people join. There's also celebrations. This could be with a Libra. I don't know why, but we're in Libra time. That's it. It could be in Libra time. Because we are in Libra, but it could also be with a Libra. I don't know why. It's come out. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't have any reasons and I can't explain it. I'll be honest with you. I, um, you know, I say what I see and how I interpret it or feel it. Okay. Now this is an air sign. It is Aquarius, but there must be a Libra, perhaps, around you. You might be getting married in Libra time. And I also think it is going to go happening it's going to happen faster than you anticipated and I know I'm reading for thousands of different people but I think your cup is going to run over and I think you've got a different perspective on life and how you want things and how you want to be treated and I think this is what your wish is most probably apart from hooking up because there are 
people that are coupled up so I think your wish is is to be respected and that people know your boundaries not borders boundaries <laughs> there you go so that you can be emotionally in balance okay there could be uh, a new love new passion as I said but your cup is running over so I think there's a lot more happening uh, or going to happen than you anticipate look at the cup the cup is right in by her chakra by her solar plex by her heart and she you are in the middle you're balancing your cup is running over wow you've opened your heart you're able to feel again you were isolated and now you're opening up and good things are going to come to you so long you maintain your boundaries and you know other people's boundaries and walk away from other people's drama walk away from self-centered people okay that will make you feel inferior you are just as worth as the next person whether it's a fire sign an earth sign or an air sign or a water sign you are in an individual and everybody should respect each other and that means you too you have to respect others and others have to respect you come together keep the communication going and be open and honest and don't create illusions and ha don't have any delusions be transparent okay and remember come out of your shell don't feel inferior if you believe if you believe you can do it you can do it that is what I'm hearing that like if you believe if you believe in yourself it will be positive okay don't feel inferior if you believe you are inferior you will project that express your love yes be clear okay be transparent go ahead and make this romantic gesture let go of the past don't lock yourself away I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care stay safe and be beautiful okay sorry the camera went down a bit so those are your cards open yourself up and be grateful for what you've got open your arms and say I will receive thank you very much my divine and angels Amen please like and share and give us the thumbs up take care and stay safe open that heart <laughs>